Well, good morning, and today is uh, Saturday, the 3rd of June, 2023, and Remy and I are on a little uh, uh, drive about or roundabout or whatever sort of about, but we're going to take in three places today. Right now, we're driving down to McLeod Falls, which is down south of Mount Shasta, and then we're going to go check out uh, Lava Beds National Monument which is in the northeastern part of Siskiyou County. So we're kind of going from the south central to the northeastern. And then we're gonna go from there up to uh, Juanita Lake or Lake Juanita, uh, which is kind of in the north central part of the state and then back to Wairika. And it's gonna be a, a lot of driving today, gonna be about five hours of driving and uh, so, not sure exactly if I'm going to get it all in today, but just it's places I've wanted to see in the springtime, and uh, so we're going to go check it out. So stay tuned. So I'm on Fowler Camp Road, and uh, this is the road that I walked in on because it was covered with snow earlier this year, um, so that Remy and I could go check out the uh, um, McLeod Falls in the winter time, which I'm so glad we did that. It was a very cool trip. Uh, but uh, this is uh, nice as well because I'm able to get the Jeep closer. But uh, yeah, we're gonna go check it out uh, in the springtime. So uh, yeah, it's definitely a different experience here in the uh, springtime. Well, I can hear the falls. Uh, we are at a parking area here at the McLeod Falls. So we're gonna go down and check it out. So uh, Remy and I are making our way towards the uh, lower McLeod Falls here. It's a whole lot less treacherous than it was in the, the uh, winter season when it was snowy up here. It's uh, surrounded by lava. You can see all the lava through here. Pretty, uh, pretty interesting. So right at the top of the falls here, at the lower falls that is, very pretty day. So I'm uh, making my way from the lower falls to the middle falls. So we're uh, going to go check that out next and then uh, Hopefully, we're going to go to the Upper Falls after that. So I'm at the Middle Falls here, looking down, and a little bit of a rainbow going on down there. It's just so beautiful here. There's a lot that Siskiyou County doesn't have, but boy, it's got some beautiful scenery. So back over that way is the feed to the Upper Falls. And you can see the falls there. And then it continues on out to the Middle Falls from this point. And, uh, this is kind of where the falls is. It's almost like a rapids kind of falls. It's really unusual. We're even further up at the top of the falls where it kind of enters into this channel.
from a natural perspective, it's not surprising at all, but just kind of unusual from what you're used to seeing. So this is the best vantage point of the falls. And uh, none of the falls through here are very tall falls. They just kind of work their way down from the top to the bottom. But I just really am glad I did this trip today. And I'm only on my first stop. But Siskiyou County has so much to offer as far as natural beauty and resources. Well, Remy and I have finished exploring um, the McLeod Falls, both the lower, the middle, and the upper. And we're now making our way to the Lava Beds National Monument. It's about two and a half hours from here, so a little bit more than that. So it's gonna be a, a decent drive. But that's okay. That's kind of why I wanted to do this today. So I had plenty of time to go do this. So we'll uh, check in with you in a little bit. So I'm making my way from uh, McLeod Falls to Lava Beds National Monument. And I just thought this was a pretty overlook. Mount Shasta obscured by the trees back there. But just, uh, just checking out the area here. Has anyone seen my balloon? It's green, you know? I got off the train and I lost it. Service Highway 49, making my way to the Lava Vents National Monument. The roads get a little narrower as you get out this way, but they're totally passable, um, in relatively good shape considering they're U.S. Forest Service roads. And speed limit through here is about 45, and I'm going about 43, so um, just uh, enjoying the drive. 
So we're making our way to Lava Beds National Monument. And I thought this was rather interesting, all this lava that is strewn throughout here as I get closer to Lava Beds National Monument. It's very cool. Well, this sucks. Um, the road is not plowed through here and uh, not exactly sure what I'm getting myself into. I'm getting up into higher altitudes from here and so I'm going to turn around and go back because I just uh, don't really have enough time today to uh, um, kind of forge through the snowy area. It's not bad right here, but like I said, I'm going up in altitude and shadier areas, so it's not going to be less snow. It's going to be more snow. So, turning around and heading back uh, to civilization. So, since the uh, road was snowed out and uh, I'm kind of had a very tight time schedule built for today, there's this cave that's right in here. And, uh, so, down here with Remy to see if we can check it out. What do you know, baby girl? Well, came down here to the cave. Since nobody knows I'm down here kind of exploring this, except for the three motorcyclists that wouldn't know to look for me if I was lost, I'm not going to go any further. But, uh, it's, uh, very interesting, very cool down here. Well, um, it is still Saturday. It is still the 3rd of June, 2023. And I am trying a different approach to get to the Lava Beds National Monument since the road that I had originally started out on was closed due to snow so uh, we'll see if we actually can get there today uh, the GPS says we can but you know the GPS isn't always right I should be getting there before 2 o'clock it's now 12 noon so we'll see what happens we'll uh, keep you informed so I'm still making my way to Lava Beds National Monument. But I just saw this nice view of the valley here and I thought I'd pull over and check it out. Take the next right onto Lava Beds National Monument Road. There you go. I'm uh, approaching Lava Beds National Monument. I've still got about 13 miles to go. Continue for 14 miles. Okay, 14 miles. But we're, uh, we're getting there. I don't know how long I'll actually be here today. Uh, but I am going to pay the admission fee because... Our national parks can get all the help they can get, or I'll use all the help they can get. So I'll definitely pay my admission fee of $25. I know that a uh, year-round park pass would uh, be more beneficial for me, but the park service could certainly use the help. So support, uh, support our national parks and your state parks and your community parks. Here we are at Lava Beds National Monument. Going to 
gonna go into the visitor center next and check it out and see what there is to uh, see. The amazing thing is that with all this lava rock, that there's things like Joshua trees and other things, um, even some types of firs that can grow in the soil. But when it burns, it uh, takes forever for it to come back. Just a very nice visitor center here at uh, Lava Beds National Monument. You drive out here and you don't think there's anything out here, but it uh, really is a very nice facility that they've got out here. They have some native artifacts out here. Just very nicely redone visitor center. So we're going to go down and check out the mush pot cave. Um, she said it's just right down here from the visitor center. So we're going to see what there is to see down here. So descending into the mush pot cave. Wow, the temperature drop off in here is amazing. Gotta watch your head in here though. It's got a low bridge. Very cool. So we are uh, done at the visitor center. Um, we're going to go around the uh, um, cave loop here, see if there's anything that we have to stop at and check out. As always, our national parks are truly a gem. I know I said this on my road trip in 2022, but they are just, you gotta, you gotta spend time in our national parks. I just can't say that enough. So if you're gonna go caving, like I said, bring a hard hat and a flashlight, but uh, also tell somebody that you're going caving because uh, that's why I'm not gonna go down into this very much because again, nobody knows I'm here. I mean, I guess the park rangers might come check the caves at the end of each day, but uh, like I said, don't want to become a statistic, and there's safety in numbers also. But the temperature change when you come down into these is just amazing. This is Hercules' leg. Just amazing how you can cool off in here. Just the temperature change is just phenomenal. One more closing thought as I leave uh, Lava Beds National Park. Uh, I only spent a couple of hours here today. Uh, I didn't see all of the different caves um, and even the ones I did see I didn't uh, go in super deep but uh, if you do come here uh, it, I, I, it well if you don't have plans to come here I'd suggest you come uh, and if and when you come I would make it make plans to make it an all-day trip bring a sack lunch or a picnic lunch and come enjoy it 
because this is definitely a uh, uh, area that you could spend all day at and exploring all the different caves. And you could probably spend an entire day here and not see everything that you might be interested in seeing for those that are really into caves. But uh, definitely uh, another national park worth seeing. So this is uh, an overlook or a vista spot as I'm leaving Lava Beds National Park. And it's just amazing the lava that is down there on the ground. It's just truly phenomenal. If it uh, wasn't against federal regulations to fly a drone in national parks, I'd pop mine up, but it is, so I won't. This road that I'm driving on right now actually separates the state of California on the left-hand side from the state of Oregon on the right-hand side. And the GPS have, on occasion as I've driven along this road has said, welcome to Oregon, welcome to California, welcome to Oregon, welcome to California. Right now I'm in California and I've made a slight bank to the left so I'm even more now in California. Well, I'm on my on the Forest Service Road to Juanita Lake, or Lake Juanita, depending on your perspective. And this is our last stop for the day before we head home. Uh, this has been a wonderful day trip. I've enjoyed the hell out of this. Uh, it, uh, I'm on a Forest Service Road, and uh, it's paved. So that's a little unusual because I'm used to Forest Service roads that aren't paved. But I presume there's probably a lot of logging that goes on back here. So maybe the logging firm took care of that. But we're going to um, see what Juanita Lake looks like here in a minute. We'll check in with you. Well, we uh, are just about to Juanita Lake. Um, there's a group campground down here behind me and I'll show you in a second but I thought it was interesting that this sign is kind of a pink or a raspberry which I thought was cool um, but it's plastic the posts are wood but the sign is plastic and so there's a group camp area down there but we're going to continue on down this road here and see if uh, we get to the lake so uh, we're here at Juanita Lake and uh, down in the day use area there is campsites here as well. Come on Remy. Well now we're overlooking Juanita Lake or Lake Juanita depending on your perspective. People out there in kayaks and stuff. Anglers here on the beach. Also some out one guy out there in his kayak fishing. There's the dam over there. Kind of uh, kind of overcast right now. But just the perfect day for this whole adventure. And Remy is doing what she does, drinking. She loves her water. So Juanita Lake, this is a very nice area here. Really uh, very pretty, very peaceful. Definitely a place to uh, come and enjoy.